play where they currently lead the league and they'll face a very good Texas State team that's also been nat- 08 earned run average. The leader of this Cajun staff, she can throw a- no homers. 14 runs batted in and an on base percentage. Oh, one pitch. This is lined to left field, but going over is the left fielder, Este. Kramer Este gets the start tonight. Going with the hot hands. And Este was that. Picked up a couple. The one two from Shorman. Tapper toward the shortstop, and this is going to get into the through the drawn in infield and into center field for a base hit. Yeah. Shorman 5 0 oh in Sunbelt. Defense again at regular depth, 2-2. Two, two. she goes. Throw to second is not in time. The throw skipped. And Earl's in already. 3-2. This is Sky to short left field. It's going to be handled by the shortstop, Langoliers. She's geez. Well, you know, coaching 101, you never let the best be. There's no one close to her after that. The closest one is 20, so... So Vanderford is at first with the intentional walk. So runner shoot. Two-two pitch lined into left field, but coming on is Este. Makes her eighth start, makes two better from Tarkington, Texas, making her 28th appearance of the year, or 17th. Seven runs batted in, but a threat if she gets on base one of the nation the catch of the century earlier against lsu and baton rouge where she went head f- the bottom of the first inning if you're just joining us that one's up and in ball four so davis draws the walk just what she did with davis and then missed the zone four times again the 0-2 this is laced to right field going over and not going to be able to make the play is jones Davis is rounding third. She will hold up. She was six for six last Saturday. With how many home runs? Runs seven as she has strikeouts, nine. But oh. Swings and misses at this one. This one was outside. And yeah. She went after it. Yeah, that was definitely. Pro- That'll bring up Carly Heath with one out. He hitting 379 on the year. 11 homers, 30 runs batted in, but skies this one. Wow. And the Bobcats just may get out of this. And I call it blowing up an inning. Uh, it's hot. That one's up high, ball four. Just missed. That one didn't miss by much. Nope. The times to an at bat. Up. One two pitch grounder up the middle. This is knocked down by the second baseman, but knocked into left field. Two runs are going to score. Just got by the glove of. Sarate to get something out of this inning with uh, such very hyped up. 3-0 is down low, ball four. That's probably why this zone seems to be a little... First 22 runs batted in. Cajuns can really just... 2-2, hit on the left side, but speared by the third baseman, Vanderford. We talked about her offense. She can play, but that's nothing compared to Jordan Campbell at second base. She is starting there for the junior first baseman hitting two runs batted in. Ground ball off the glove of the first baseman all red, but she'll win the race to the bag. Runs batted in. Shorman again with the one two. There's the change, but it stays outside and up. The 3 2 this time. This is laced to left field and pretty deep. But Este has a bead on it and makes the catch for the first out. Bobcats put run. 2 1 from Shorman. This is laced again to left field. But Este's got a bead on it. Four fly balls to the left over there. She, in turn, she uh, earned the intentional. Two homers, 12 runs batted in, hitting two. They thrown 40 pitches in the game. This one's lined right back up the middle. This will get into center field for a base hit. It's a very good at bat there. Louisiana had two hits in the first inning. Again, the 2 2. Got a piece of it, but held on. Nice job by Kellner behind the plate. And Davis goes down swinging. Great at bat the first time up. Doubled down the right. 
Skies this one, though, in the infield. Now drifting over and in foul ground. They can't resist going after that pitch. Must be moving through the zone. One, two, grounded on the right side. This will get into right field for a base hit. Ball got away just for a moment from Jones. If that arm extended toward the plate, she's still trying to figure out the strike. Zone. Yep, that pitch right there. And they, they keep trying it. <laughs> and, and that's four straight, all within like a couple of inches of each other, and all four of them, ball one. This one sky to left field. Coming over Tough is the left play. fielder. Will not get Tough. there. Trahan, Vaughns are going to score. And they will hold up already at third base. That's a tough. And that was already Mullen's 60th pitch yeah. in the game. She has thrown a lot. This one's popped up in the infield. It's handled by the first baseman, Smith, for the third. Corners on that plate tonight. No. I don't know Let's, if it's got that black border. I, I think, think it's. Here comes the 3 1. That misses That's outside ball four. That's not even close. Six. Three 0 pitch. Not close. That's low and away ball four. Back to back walks from Shorman. That's weird. She just has. Uh, Hannah Earls. 3 51. The 0 2 pitch. Reaches out and taps it to third base. Throw to first is not going to be in time. But Earls lines it to Kyle. So one gone for Piper Randolph. Popped up her for Randolph. Little tapper handled by Langoliers. She'll go to third to get the lead runner. Good Alert play. Change their mind. Again, the 2-2. Swung at and missed. Vanderford goes down swinging. Two strikes. She's been there a lot tonight. But a lot of times. Definitely frustrated Mullins. Ground ball up the middle, but nice handled play. by the second baseman, Zarate. Over to Smith for to end the first inning. Ground ball again. This one hit more slowly to Zarate. Over to Smith and it's thrown away. And Remember her being this open. She, she was open, but I'm like. It probably won't be as effective. Ground ball on the left side. Vanderford has it throw across. It was up high, but making the stretch is Smith. 0 for 1 officially. Walked and scored in the first. Struck out in the second. One strike pitch. Ground ball on the left side. Quick throw across is in time. Nice play by Vanderford. Made a couple of nice plays in the inning. Good week game this past week as the first pitch ground ball from Anna Jones over to first and barely got her at first base on the flip from camp. Tight zone. Shorman kind of. One-oh pitch. This is lined in the center field for a base hit. Almost took her head off there. It's almost as good as the Australian hometown. Shorman with the one-two. Swung at and missed. Took something off that one. It's nice if you're not out here at the ballpark, you better be outside enjoying it. This one's sky to right field. Carly Heath is there. She'll make the catch for the third ERA. She's only thrown nine and two thirds innings. She's given up eight hits, three, 45 of them for strikes. And you'd, you'd expect. Lines this one to left field. But there's room in the ballpark. Trahan makes the grab for the first. You dream about those numbers. This one's sky to right center field. Could bring rain with that sucker. Randolph, the center fielder. Carly Heath will stand in. Walked and scored her last time up. A number of conference series one. And you don't even think about her as a pitcher. No. And it's two balls and two strikes. Again, I thought that one was pretty close. In the 12 to 15 mile an hour range. 2-2 two -two is lined to right to field, but right at Jones. She trots in and makes the ground. And it's actually a series that had the side. One of them flashed two and two. 
Doesn't matter, though. Kellner goes swinging after one outside the zone. That ball, they know. Here comes the 2 1. Ground ball on the left side, speared by the shortstop Langoliers, but you won't have a throw. In Langoliers just to keep it in the infield. But this one's a looper into left field. Back to back hits for the Bobcats here in the fifth. And Texas State first and second with one out. And Piper Randolph will stand in. Randolph 0 for 2. 1 1 pitch tries to bunt it. It's a good one. Valdez will throw to first just in time to get Randolph. It does. I don't think Shoreman liked the idea of walking her that first time. 0 2 to Vanderford. Change up, grounded toward third. Funny little hop, throw across is going to be in the dirt. One run's going to score, two runs are going to score. Third. Didn't even have to make the play. But two outs. 2.17. Her ERA in 38 innings. She's given up for Louisiana. Both these teams would probably like to cut to second and third, and then both scored on the air. In that ground ball, should have ground been. Ground ball. And it gets through at second base. Had a look at it there. All red. All red. Yeah, it's not all red's ball. Yeah, she put her bare hand out there, and it's the tying run. And just like that, we got a new ball game. Three runs in in the inning for Texas State. Bill Laddage, if you. 2 2 from Lamb. Swung in and missed. Smith goes down swinging for the third out of the inning. But not Allred, one for one officially, walked in the 2-1 to Allred. This one's lined to left field, and this is going to be snagged by Trahan, who started or hit pretty well, but the Bobcat outfielder is able to run him down on the year. Swing and a miss. Goes after something up high. And the freshman. Kramer Este, 0 for 1 officially, walked in the first, grounded out in the third. Here comes the one two change up is popped into center field, but Randolph is there and makes the catch and is a second straight up and down and finds the zone with the one zero pitch. Zarate fly roll here and then everything just went quiet. One two pitches on the outside corner call strike three. Zero for two. Two fly balls to the outfield. That Langelier is kind of shading over to left field. In the here comes the 2-2. Two -two. This one's a little nubber. Langoliers will go back and make the grab. I thought at first she turned the 1-0 oh from Lamb. This one's a line to right field. And if you get in the uh, loser's bracket, and then your pitching may be short. Homers, eight runs batted in. Lines this one to left field, but Trahan is there and makes the grab. For the first throw, nine and two thirds innings on the season. It's hit in those nine innings. Until now, this Ooh. one's lined up and that's going to bounce off the wall. Valdez is going to round first. She's going to try for second. She is in. It's in. Davis 0 for 2 today. Lines this one to left field pretty deep. But Trahan has room, makes the grab, and for headed third. for third. Ooh. And getting in under. That is such a. Fine line in the seventh inning. Change up is tapped back to the pitcher. Solis will throw to first and get the out there as Griffin will move up to third base. Just got her. The speed of the Cajuns is showing up. Change up is sent to center field, but Randolph has room and she will make the catch for the third. From the Bobcats. One, two from Lamb. Swung at and missed. Went after the up, something upstairs. Got her with the big rise ball. Since that error, Lamb has retired five in a row. With the... Here comes the three, two. They'll repeal down. They'll say, no, she did not go around. One, two from Lamb. Swung at and missed. Fourth strikeout for the senior from Australia. Batter they want at the plate. 
and Sarah Vanderford. 2 2, swung in and missed. Lamb strikes out three in the third series. Yvette, Cajuns looked like they were fully in control through the first two innings. In fact, left out the best hitter on their team to preserve the victory. For Kendra Lamb, that's her third.